Oh, and last but not least, I don't even really want to watch this one because I am squeamish, but Evander Kane gets cut by Pat Maroon's skate blade. If you don't want to see blood, don't watch this. And just to not let everyone know, Evander Kane is okay. What happened? Oh. Oh. Look, he's bleeding. He goes quickly to the freaking bench. He is bleeding. Converges through. Wow, isn't that hilarious? Like how he's on the ground in pain, and then something like clicks in his head. You know how when they say you see blood, you act differently. He realized, man, I got to get this looked at right away. I don't have time for pain. He could die. He could bleed out with a wrist injury like that, man. Thank God they have medical staff on location. But look, he's on the ground. He's like, oh shit, I'm hurt. My wrist hurts, and then he sees the blood, and he just boom, adrenaline kicks in, man. Adrenaline's a hell of a thing. What a survival uh, 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 asset. Is he right? Oh, thank God he didn't step on it, right? It was like a slash. And look, he just goes. Look, hey. Thank God, man. Medical staff. I'm surprised that doesn't happen more in hockey. These guys are literally skating around with knives on their damn feet. It's good to know that Evander Kane is okay, though, ladies and gentlemen. Yikes.